Hi, my name is Marion Kalmer and I'm a farmer from Western Illinois and today we have another segment of uh, what we believe is the importance of doing your own on-farm research this spring and today's topic is managing residue and first off uh, what's unique about this area is that in the fall of 2016 uh, when I harvested the corn stalks half of the corn head had uh, OEM or knife to knife stock rolls on it and the other half of the corn head had the BT choppers um, on it and so we're going to talk about the corn residue first and on this side here um, it's pretty obvious as as we look at the stalks and and you can see the hash marks uh, that are on this stalk uh, they're about a 45 degree angle right here and that's from the knife to knife blades uh, that were on that uh, that corn head and you can still see that they're decomposing but they're kind of slow um, on this side over here is where we had the BT choppers and you can still see the the small pieces of confetti you can pick them up out here um, they're an inch and a quarter long and the, the pith is opened up and the earthworms microbes bacteria and the weather has decomposed them so we're getting a lot faster decompose, uh, decomposition on the corn residue from the fall of 2016 now obviously last year we grew soybeans out here and um, you can see that the, the soybean residue is, is decomposing and I do want to mention that it's really important to, to tune up the, the uh, straw chopper, um, the blades, the concave and, and we want to make the soybean residue as small as possible just like we do with corn residue because it's going to decompose. We also want to do a nice job of spreading that soybean residue so that it's not windrowed out here. But visually this area of the field uh, where we had the BT choppers, you can tell that it's it's going to be uh, warmer, it's going to be drier, we got more surface area out here, going to be a lot easier to plant. It's a late spring, I'm, I'm expecting we're a couple days away from being able to get in on this side and, and start to plant corn. But over on this side with all of these long corn stalks that are still out here uh, down underneath, it's going to take a little bit longer, maybe another day, to get it to dry out and uh, be able to come in here and successfully uh, plant a, a nice stand so that we get even emergence uh, for this year's coming corn crop. So the other thing that I want to mention is that there's a, a huge difference in nutrient availability between this side and this side because these are decomposing and the, the nitrogen especially from the corn stalks and also from the bean straw going back into the ground and we're going to be able to use that in this year's corn crop and on this side some of that nitrogen is tying up with this bigger residue and we're just not going to get to use it so um, I guess in, in, in summary um, I think that the uh, uh, higher nutrient availability, the warmer soil, the drier soil is going to lead us to higher yields which is going to lead to higher profits. So with that um, I want to say thanks for watching the video and we hope that you'll stay tuned for more in our series of the importance of doing your own on-farm research. Have a safe and profitable growing season.